you so much guys to all of you for showing so much love to our recent video if dude perfect were bartenders Romish Bellucci said each of these moves need urgent how to do videos <laughs> I'm not gonna show it to you how to do all of those videos well but our flips for tips episode is officially back and today I will show it to you this really easy trick how to catch two or three lines into the shaker. So there are a few different options. First, for example, if you need to make drinks such as mojito or something uh, similar where you need to put oranges, limes, lemon on the bottom of the glass. So you take two and then you catch like this. And the second option, for example, when you, when you actually uh, finish the drink, like a simple mixed drink, and you need to put one lime, on top of it, like you need to put a garnish. So that way you can use shaker. It's so easy that I don't even think you need more than like uh, 10, 15 minutes to actually learn it. Well, maybe you wouldn't look really smooth, but at least uh, you will be able to catch it. But if you try to do uh, tricks with, for example, three limes, you will need uh, a lot more time, like a lot more. We will be practicing with this glass and also to get started, we will need only one lime. You can use like this or you can just cut it in half if it's easy. So you can have just uh, two, two small pieces. So you just need to place it like this on top of your fingers right here. We will hold glass reverse grip. So for example, you take again glass or shaker, or prefer reverse grip. And you don't have to, you see the easiest part, you don't even need to throw it first like too high. Uh, all you need to do is just cover it with your glass. There's no big uh, distance between your glass and your hand. It's just like really easy, like this, one, two. And then you just try a few times. You see, it goes up and down, and then I would recommend just to put it up like this. Uh, you will see why. And try it a few times, one, two. The only thing I would recommend for you to practice like this sideways, just in case if you miss the lime, it will go this way. And instead of like, if you miss this way, it might just uh, go straight to someone. So you don't want that. Again, the biggest mistake you can make is just throw high and then try to catch it. No, you just basically cover it like this, one. And uh, now, if you're pretty comfortable, all you need to do is just like, as I told you, put a reverse grip and then try to throw lime into your glass like this. So try a few times reverse grip with like half a lime or with a full lime, which would be a little bit harder. The first one and the second one. Boop. You can do it also left and right and check it out. This is how it looks. So instead of catching like this, now we're going to go from uh, right to left. You see, it's a little bit harder, like this. And then the second one also is not automatically falling into your glass, so you need to go to the, from left to right, basically like this. <laughs> but don't rush to do two lines, just try to look really smooth with one. So you will do it like this or like that, and then make sure that it like looks, looks really, really good. The first line goes on the tip of your fingers, and the second one you put it like right here in the middle or even lower. Because you see, you hold your hand like this and without even shaker, all you need just to, to try is to throw them. Uh, that, that first goes a little bit higher and uh, uh, this line will go a little lower. And all you need to catch like this one into your right hand, the first line. So, and it just should be like this, one, two. So this is the right technique, one, two. But you, you, maybe it will be a little bit challenging for you to catch everything into your right hand. So it will be totally okay if this lime, again, will end up in left hand. So one, two. And you keep trying to catch it. One, two. So if you can already do just like me, you can try to at least, uh, uh, let's say, try a cheetah shaker or again, glass and catch at least the first one. So when you catch like this and the second goes to your hand just because you're not ready to catch the second one yet. So you will try it about like five, 10 times. Pump, pump. I would recommend to probably try something lighter, like maybe plastic cup or chili shaker. And again, you cover the first one, and right away you hold the shaker like this, and your goal, remember just like we practiced before, catch the second line. So you see, one, two. Ready to catch the first one, one, two. Hopefully you guys can see that this is so easy, and you don't have to go too fast or too wide. Uh, you see all my movement just right here, one, two. I don't even go like really all the way from here to here. So pretty simple, one, two. But again, the only trickiest part is just make this slime uh, fly a little bit higher and this one is not too hard because you see, if you will be throwing like this, you wouldn't make it work. So you need to hold your hand like this with the angle and this slime always fly a little higher. 
just like this. One, two, add more limes, and start. And just like I explained to you guys a little earlier, you can also do version uh, left to right. You see it's slightly harder, one, two. A little smoother would look better, like for example this. And now if you want to make your guest and you go absolutely crazy, you can try with three limes. If with two limes, you see, you could be just like a uh, really chill and, and be like like uh, one, two. With three limes, you need to be like a ninja. Cha, 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 cha. And you need to place it in three different spots. In the middle, tip, and here. Oh, and you need to catch like this, one, two, and three. One, two, three. The, of course, the hardest part will be the third line, just because two is really easy, but for the third, you need to go really fast. <laughs> and exactly the same you can do with four limes, which make it much, much harder because you basically wouldn't be able to do it in a place with a, a low ceiling. And here's a simpler version, but also look pretty cool. You can place, you see, lime on top of your shaker or uh, glass. So you catch first lime, one, two, and then do it like this. Looks kind of cool and it's definitely easier than to catch one, two, three. So it's like I almost guarantee think you're gonna catch it right away. I would totally recommend to try, but uh, always will be uh, most practical is basically with one and two lines. Uh, let me know what do you think about our new studio setup. This is temporary, but uh, we will be definitely making a few episodes from this one. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button like this, and I'll see you next week.